Okay, um, welcome to Bed Talk episode 10. Um, it's been ages. Um, bed notice still unmade. Um, and my little three year old neighbor actually came by today and she said, uh, When are you going to clean your bed? When are you going to make your bed? And I thought, Never. I'm a grown up. You don't have to do what you, you don't have to do the things you don't want to once you're a grown up, you know. So yeah, bed talks, I don't think to date have once been filmed with a made bed. But anyway, um, today I want to talk a little bit about creativity um, because it's actually the reason why there's been such a slump um, with me getting uh, this next episode out and you know and, and I really don't want these bed talk conversations to be another headline. You know we get enough of that in other YouTube channels and the news and you know our social media feeds but this is about creativity and how it really needs the darkness for that light of creativity to shine. And the darkness sucks, at least for me. Like I don't like um, feeling like my creativity has been dulled or that my energy has slowed down. Um, but inevitably, that is something to happen. So when, you know, everything started to sort of shake and the world shifted under our feet, um, I threw myself into the most creative projects. I was really inspired to get my teaching courses online, um, I started working on two books. Um, I'm still working on the um, podcast, Expat Life, and of course these bed talks. And so there was this hive, this frenzy of creativity that I was just throwing into all the outlets I knew how. For some people, this is um, learning how to cook different things, making their own um, peanut butter or nut milk, or just learning how to create vegan dishes or homemade bread. Um, creativity could take the shape of writing music or singing or playing an instrument or you know creating a clothing line wh whatever like just throwing yourself into creativity is um, exciting it gives you purpose it gives you energy it brings um, meaning to your days um, whenever you can just put yourself into something you love and something that you can actually create plants that for example um, but anyway, so what's happened the last few weeks is after this push, this boost of throwing myself into all the creative um, avenues I know how, I got exhausted and tired and my body kept getting stupid pains and like my shoulder and my feet and my, you know, all this, whatever. I just um, got a little, not depressed, but just, it went dark. I, I couldn't finish reading any of the books I was reading even. I couldn't really apply myself. To b the books, the goals I set for myself as far as working on each book weren't being met. Um, this bed talk sort of went to the side, you know, and I just sort of lost momentum. And I jumped into Netflix series and shut the doors and just kind of hid in this cave that I made in, in my room really. But um, just kind of shut myself off from any spark of creative purpose and um, it sucks because it makes you feel more tired you know when you're in a dark place or like kind of feeling lost or exhausted and then you know there's so much going on in our outside world that it tends to drain us you know mentally emotionally um, it hasn't been a very happy place lately you know the outside world and the inside world too sometimes so um, the last few weeks yeah I just I just went dark and I, and I realized sort of coming out of it like oh you know if we're like in this bright light of day and everything's kind of working for us we're not going to notice these different um, unique sparks of creativity these unique sparks of joy um, that we would otherwise see sometimes we need for things to go quiet we need to sit in the shade we need to find a cave and we just need to be still, sleep late, zone out, let things kind of pass over us like this big moving cloud. And it always does. It always passes. Um, and then once you kind of emerge from that dark, you definitely do so with the light and with this bit of creativity or, or, or whatever light it is that lights you up and that drives you to go to the things you love writing, reading, teaching, working out, running your business, you know, connecting. So whatever whatever it is that drives you, it won't be able to drive you 24-7, seven days a week. It's just not how the world works. Um, somebody once told me, the only rose that blooms all year is plastic. So think about that. The only way we can actually be creative and productive 
um, and kind of follow our true joy is by letting ourselves go into the quiet, letting ourselves go into the dark, and just kind of hibernating, um, either by choice or by circumstance. Um, for me, it was definitely by circumstance, but I'm happy to kind of get revved up, get organized, get working on my books again, and then to put this episode 10 up. So I, I don't think it'll be a last. Actually, I'd like to do this weekly, um, but we'll see. But yeah, our little lights of creativity, it needs to be sparked in the dark. So hope that you guys use your dark to rest well um, and rejuvenate, and then, yeah, shine your light. Was that cheesy? Nah. <laughs>